Hello, my name is Jaleese. Welcome now, everybody, to my Harry Potter Wars again. This is book two, Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets, a book versus the movie. Which one is better? Here's the thing, everybody. We all know what the Chamber of Secrets is about. Someone has opened the Chamber of Secrets. A serpent is now killing individuals at Hogwarts or petrifying them. Harry and his crew are trying to figure out who's done it. The book versus the movie. Here's the thing. I love the movie. I see a theatrical cut and the extended cut. The theatrical cut is 2 hours and 31 minutes, and the extended cut is 2 hours and 45. It's a true uh, extended cut. And again, Christopher Columbus returned for his uh, second film. And it, since he did the first Sorcerer's Stone or the Philosopher's Stone, let's see how he did from comparing the book to the movie. And to me, I prefer the movie over the book easily in this one. Because you know why? The book pretty much is the same thing like the movie. The movie is pretty much the same thing like the book, except in a takeaway certain scenes are not necessary. One, we had Headless Nick's Ghost Dinner Party and all that stuff. That uh, that the entire book read was just basically, that entire chapter was basically introducing Moni Myrtle and what Headless Nick does for the time. Then there's death parties and all that stuff. Not overall that interesting. In the movie, they try to do Moni Myrtle, how uh, Hermione is uh, mixing up the Polyjuice Potion and Myrtle's there. And we're introduced to Myrtle. And to me, that was a much more interesting way than just seeing Headless Nick and all this stuff being around for the dinner party. To me, it was not necessary, and we didn't include that. The book also has more of Lockhart being an annoying type of person. He wants to, uh, Harry's uh, getting photographs from Colin. That, that Professor Lockhart, he's all on it. He's like, oh, let's take a photograph together. Who's getting photographs? I want more photographs. So there's more of Lockhart just wanting more photographs. There's more of Colin just pestering Harry and all that stuff. And to me, in the movies, they dumbed it down a lot. I mean, how many chapters I have, uh, how many chapters and how many scenes we have of Colin or Lockhart just annoying Harry tremendously. In this, in the movies, it's more like Colin's like, he's in that one scene and he's in another scene. It's not like he's in constantly just watching Harry and like taking photos and all that stuff. And it's not like Lockhart's constantly, oh, let me get an autograph. Also, the movie cuts away a lot of scenes that are not necessary. Like Hermione getting a permission slip from Lockhart. In order to get the Podjus, in order to get the book for the Podjus potion, even though some people prefer like, well, why does how come Hermione gets Podjus potion so quickly and all that stuff? We don't need a written permission and all that stuff. But to me, I rather have no permission slip because again, we don't need to see more of Lockhart full of himself. We don't need to see extended scenes of Colin snapping pictures, wanting to be in Harry's, uh, like getting like a whole fan club of Harry and all that stuff. We need less of that. And to me, there was less of. Uh, Hermione in love with Lockhart. I mean, in the movies, it she does have a crush on him, but in the thing, like, how she constantly defends him. Like, Hermione's crush on Lockhart was excessive in the books and all this stuff. And what, the, what Chamber of Secrets does, there's less of Lockhart being annoying. There's less of, La of Colin just uh, filming Carrie and all that stuff or taking pictures of him. There's less of Hermione uh, being, like, uh, with a freaking uh, crush on it. Uh, Lockhart and all that stuff. There's less of Percy Weasley and all that stuff. Percy Weasley wasn't really an interesting character, in my opinion. He was well, he was a character, but he was overall a standout. So to me, the Chamber Secrets movie took a lot of the stuff that annoyed me about the Chamber Secrets book, and they cut it down a bit. What we also get the major, I say one of the major things that I preferred in the movie over the book was in the book. When Ginny, as a character, she still has a crush on Harry and all that stuff, but in the movie, you can never really tell who opened the Chamber of Secrets, and you can never would have guessed it was Ginny. In a book, she's just a crying girl and all that stuff, and she's crying over, like, something getting petrified and all this stuff. You could just to say, like, oh, she's a young girl, she's not used to all this violence in the school and all this stuff, so she's a little scared, and her brothers are trying to console her. But when she, there's a scene in the book where she's trying to warn Ron and Harry that maybe someone opened up the Chamber of Secrets... And the fact is that the fact is that Jenny like tells that entire fact about both like how uh, she was just trying to say like to Harry and Ron and all that stuff like that she was trying to warn him ahead of time. When she warned that uh, Jenny warned Harry and Ron and all that stuff. When she warned him about all that stuff about like I have to. And then it cuts to the next scene. It really takes away from. The mystery and all that stuff. Because once she does that, that means she knows something about the Chamber of Secrets. That means she knows something that's going to happen. And it makes her likely the culprit. What the movie did was completely ignore Ginny. Which was fantastic. Crystal Columbus just had little scenes of her just looking around like... 
like that. Uh, she uh, she really wasn't like crying all too much. She really wasn't uh, doing any. We didn't really get to see a lot of Jenny in the entire Chamber of Secrets of when she was at Hogwarts and all this stuff. So I think that was a pretty good uh, way. Uh, that was a pretty good thing that Christopher Columbus did. And to me, the movie did a better job of the mystery and all this stuff. Because again, once Ginny was going to tell Ron and uh, Harry in the books, that shit went uh, that that you easily could tell that at the end before you even read the next chapters that Ginny was involved and all that stuff. But in the movie or in the book, you're constantly guessing like who opened the Chamber of Secrets, who did this, who did that. And to me, this entire book, even though I love the book, I prefer the movie. The movie was excellent. For 2 hours and 31 minutes, for 2 hours and 45 minutes, this book was excellent. I love a lot of stuff about the Chamber of Secrets movie. The Chamber of Secrets movie is better than the book just because it takes a lot of stuff away from Hermione having the crush on Lockhart, Lockhart being annoying, Colin being annoying. It skips uh, the death uh, party scene, the, uh, Nick's death, uh, death party and all that stuff. Not necessary. We still introduced to Moaning Myrtle, just a different way. Um, again, they kind of gave it away of that Ginny knew about the secret of the Chamber of Secrets and all that stuff. So they kept the secret throughout the movie. They didn't show anything. So it still kept the audience entertained. What I like more about the movie that they explored more of Harry questioning himself whether he's similar. Is he a parcel tongue? Is he related to the founder, one of the founders of Hogwarts who was an evil man? Is he related to Salazar Slytherin and all that stuff? But Harry questioned himself a lot throughout this movie. And, there's a, and I love Christopher Columbus' choice to have in comparison of young Harry and young Tom Riddle of like how well how Dumbledore said is there something you wish to tell me Harry is there something you wish to tell me Tom I like Harry questioning so the questioning his role in this entire world and I absolutely adore this film I believe now this is my favorite Harry Potter film because it's an adventure it's not it's not like the beginning again Chamber of Secrets is my favorite Harry Potter film now because it's not the beginning where you have to introduce the characters it ain't the third one where they're going back in time and it's basically everybody's favorite it's not the Goblet of Fire where there's teen drama. It's not the Order of the Phoenix where it's depressing. It's not the Half of Prince when they're setting up the couples, even though it doesn't make sense. And it's not Deadly Hallows Part 1 and Part 2. It's because those, that's the end. So to me, Harry Potter Chamber City is a perfect Harry Potter adventure. It's full of love. It's full of laughs. There's no bickering between the characters. They're all at their best moments. They're all at their great moments. And to me, Chamber Secrets was the best film. The Harry Potter franchise. After I rewatched and reread the books, so far Chamber of Secrets is now my new number one favorite Harry Potter film. And I've seen the extended edition, I've seen the theatrical cut. They're great. It takes everything from the book, and it improves upon the book. So to me, Chamber of Secrets is the best Harry Potter movie. And uh, book versus movie, Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets, the movie wins this by landslide. So everybody, let me know what y'all think. Everyone, did you think the book was better? Did you think the movie was better? What do you personally think about which one was the better Harry Potter? Uh, one, what do you think Chamber of Secrets the book was better or you think the film was better? Let me know what y'all think, everyone. If there's anything I have missed about this entire Harry Potter book war for uh, Chamber of Secrets, let me know what y'all think, everyone. Let me know. Just just let me know. My name's Elise and I'm everybody. Uh, bye.